Hey guys, Tony the Story, Sass, 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 and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, I'm a little bit excited because I've been looking for this cigar for a little bit um, because it don't have the size or weighted. And I believe it was Lotus or someone that told me that it's available now. Go get it. And I went to get it. All right. So we have the Placencia 151 Cosecha, Coseca, however you want to call that, 151. All right. I'm a little bit excited because this thing is 100% Honduras, right? So Honduras wrapper, Honduras binder, Honduras filler, and they are supposedly a full-bodied cigar and uh, uses that their 150th, uh, 51st continuous harvest. So that's 151. Now, I got the Toro size, 5 and 7, 8 by uh, 64. And that's the size that I really want to try. Like, they have other sizes, of course. They have a Robusto 5x50, which uh, somehow looks small. And then they have a Corona Gorda, which is 5 and 3 quarters by 46, which is kind of thin for this enjoyment. All right? So, first things first. Box. Typical. Very cool. Uh, Placencia box, but this time, like, you know, this this thing is not actual band, it's just a tape. So, it's kind of cool, so I don't have to break the band, you know. And here we go. Inside, another sticker over this. This is Coseca Nevada. And... There we go. Look at this beauty. It's a really nice band. Like I thought it was gonna be like a yellow band, but I saw some video with that gold band. I saw some picture of yellow band. But gold band, I'll take gold band. So, without further ado, we take one up. And ooh, what is that? Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. I I even got one of these in there. It's kind of cool. I was like, what is that in the bottom? Anyways, go back in there. All right, close this up. Oh, there is magnet on this. Yeah, I just realized that th this flap has magnet on it. I was like, why is it that close so tight? Like, see these two dots? Those are magnets because the bottom has also have two dots right there. You see that right here and right here? Yeah, it closes well. Oh, right. okay. Something new. Why not? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, very cedary. Very, very woodsy. Got a little bit. Leather. Damp, damp, wet leaf smell. That's pretty much it. All right. Take off the footband, which just says Cosica Bravada. Okay. That's how it looks like. Without the bottom band, of course. So, with the bottom band, what happened? Like, I can do this. Come on. Like it never happened. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. I right, give we go. Really nice band. Okay, so let's cut light. My lip is dry. Can't give it enough. I've smashed spit. Good enough to cut. 
Dry is good. Coco. Leathery Coco. Leathery Coco. Let's see. Now, this thing is kind of like not in the right place. I'm going to get it to the right place. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It smells woodsy already. It smells really good. It smells really good, huh? It's like a cocoa woodsiness. Some pepper. It's burning a little bit in my nose. What is that? That tastes like guava. A little bit of guava. And I'm, I'm not even talking about the red guava fruit. I'm talking about the white green guava fruit. So if you go find the green guava that has the like the whitish meat inside, that's what it tastes like. Oh, now it's just peppery. Woo. It tastes intense. And I tried to figure out everything, but I had to wait for that pepper to go down because that pepper is intense. It's gonna take me a little bit. Right now, everything is so intense. It's hard to taste everything. Let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. I'm done with first third. I gotta say, first third is kind of disappointing. After that little bit of like oh, so much flavor, uh, the flavor died. Now it's like barnyard. Like almost like rotten egg with barnyard. I don't know what happened. A little bit of dead grass too. It doesn't... I, right now it doesn't taste good. I don't know what happened. I was having a good hope with this one, but... So far, not very good. Not very good. You know, I, all I can say is keep going, I guess. The first third is not ready, I guess. I'm going to smoke a second third halfway through this band and, and see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping that this improves because right now it's not that good. I'm kind of scared. If this is really not good, I might have to revisit this because Aris didn't didn't sit long enough. He's been sitting. It's been sitting and I have it listed, like like literally sit there to the room temperature before I start smoking it. I, I don't know what happened. Like I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed. So um, at the same time, I should give you guys what I pay for it so that we can have a base. Right? Have a base. Let's have a base. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I should just type 151, right? So, this one is called the La Tradition. La Tradition MSRP is $16. So, this guy is $16. Right now, with that first third, what, like, five. Let's see if it improves because it's, it's, it's not good right now. Let's, let's see if it improves. So be right back. All right, second, third. I mean, this is a full strength cigar too. It's a lot of strength. And I just reached a, a, a crossover point where I start to taste the sweet cedar. Start to taste the sweet cedar. Second, third is more floral. And it has this really weird cocoa taste. It's cocoa, but something's wrong with it. And now it's sweet cedar. So... I don't know. I don't like that transition, but it's getting to a point where it's good right now. 
So I don't want to knock it too much because last turn could be really good. But you don't want to pay $16 for a cigar that's only one third good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it will take time for it to sit longer to do that. Maybe they, they wrote it when before it was ready. But first two third wasn't that good. Wasn't that good. At this point, I best I can give it is eight bucks. Eight eight fifty maybe. It's not that good right now. Yeah, it just starts to be cocoa. Like a chocolate cocoa. And some sweet cedar. And pepper. Lingering pepper. And that's it. It's not a lot. I'm not getting a lot. I'm not getting $16 from this cigar. Like maybe if you smoke a Robusto, it gets to that point faster. But like the first two third wasn't good. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh my god. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the band. There you go. It's gold. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's just, you know, compared to the previous one, this is actually the gold. You know, you try to put gold on it, you try to rimp it up. Why would you put that kind of flavor in the first two third? Maybe it is too young. I don't know. Right now, 850. So, yeah, let me smoke it for the last third. I gotta slow down because it's definitely a strength. Cigar is it's a lot of strength to it. Um, more strength than the previous few. This one has more strength. I don't know. Kind of worry. Kind of worry. I gotta give a really bad review on this one. <laughs> I was very excited. Now, like, not, like you know, after two third, kind of lose my faith a little bit. What's with all those bad flavor? I don't know. Like you can see me, I'm struggling because I'm very excited about this cigar and then it turns out to be not good. So, yeah, let me smoke through the last third and we'll go to summary because um, there's not much to it other than the first two third is just not good. A lot of strength, not not good flavor, not good flavor. Maybe just this one, who knows? Be right back. Mm. All right. <sighs> it's a disappointing cigar. The, the, the flavor is so light. There's not much to it. Um, transition wasn't that good. Last third, you get a little bit of the sweet cedar and chocolate, cocoa. But that's last third. And it comes on and off, on and off, on and off. And then the pepper goes through and burns your nose out. So, I can at best give it $10. $10 is the maximum I can rate this cigar. It's not good. Not good for what Placentia can put out. Especially they want to put out as a special thing, you know, 151st uh, crop and everything. It's just not up there. It's not, it's not that good. It's not that good. So I, I don't know what else I can say about the cigar other than it's not that good. It's not up to the point. Uh, I said point or point. Point. It's not up to the point. So anyways. Last band, typical Placencia band. Ten dollar can't give any more. Uh, it's not worth it. Uh, I can see beginner like it, but the thing is that it's too strong for beginner. So you gotta be at least somewhat skilled uh, to be able to tolerate some nicotine to smoke this. I think it's a bad combination, in my opinion. Uh, Maybe once you had an age another couple years when the strength go down a little bit, it might be a better cigar. We we'll had to revisit it. But for now, as a brand new cigar, it's not up to the point. I didn't like it that much. Uh, I, I was, in fact, I'm disappointed because I had a huge hope for this cigar to be good. And I was excited because it's a Honduras Puro, but it wasn't, it wasn't up to my expectation. So it is what it is. Yeah. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. So, uh, that's it for this review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, turn on your bell so that we'll have a lot more review coming up. And uh, hopefully there will be some better cigars. And uh, share the channel if you can. Support and join us in the row to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next review. That will be it. Bye, guys.